Alright, I'm back. Um, if you notice I have the pause screen on, um, don't ever leave the game on without it paused because Scissor Man will randomly attack you when you're when you're idle. But um, yeah, just that's just a little tip right there. But now we're at the fountain. It's uh, I already know what I'm what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to click on uh, this tree right here, I think, and then yeah, here we go. This might be the valve to drain the fountain. There we go. Now I'm going to save my game right here, because now we're approaching the very, very end. Um, sorry if I gave it away at the very end, but n n I couldn't have really given it away, but uh, <laughs> anyway, let's do it. Um, yeah, this is like the final part down here, so. The water in the fountain drains away. Alright. Nice butt there, Jennifer. <laughs> Alright, let's go down this little um, corridor. Oh boy. Wonder what's going on in there. Let's find out. Huh? Oh well, look, it's Scissor Man. We can actually talk to him. So it was you, Edward. <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, Jennifer. Gasp. But my name isn't Edward, it's Dan. Gasp again. You don't mean... No! So, you remember me now. Jennifer! Remember that, uh... Remember that no. big... Oh, hold on. Come here, you scissor-fingered little runt. <laughs> nice Just insult. Alright, now we gotta use a statue. Right here. There's oh I couldn't read that in time. Whatever. Here we go. Now let's open the door. Open the door and show me the way. Why, why did I read that? Shit. Oh boy. Being pulled in. This is pretty epic. <laughs> Jennifer! So now you gotta use a dagger on him as quick as you can. There we go. See a scissor man? Or, I mean, Dan. Finally beat you. Good save there, Nolan. Alright. I beat the game. No big deal. We get a little cutscene at the end. A little uh, CG cutscene. I wonder how many days have passed since we were locked in here. Days? I think it's been only a night. Are we going to die like this? Don't worry. I'm sure Helen will rescue us. You know, you're tough. <laughs> no, you're just weak. Wow. Oh, what's this? Jennifer, Nolan, Helen. Ah. Yay, we get a happy ending. 
and I think this is actually the the best ending you can get in the game, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Mistaken, probably. It's probably the best one. Ending A, I think. But yeah, there we go. So that's uh, Clock Tower 2 for you. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, it was fun to play, but um, yeah, um, I'll be honest, I, I really didn't want to play it the last few videos, but um, yeah, because it got pretty boring for me. But, um, but anyway, um, yeah, so you know, I'm, I'm glad we got a happy ending here. Um, finally, uh, my last game didn't have that great of an ending, but, um, but yeah. Um, and if you guys aren't sure um, what that what he was ta what uh, the scissor man was talking about when he said like my, I'm really Dan, um, he was, he's actually uh, remember that that big baby mutant thing from the last game that chased me in the catacombs and I blew it up with the kerosene. Uh, that's he, that's actually him. He's that guy from the last game, and uh, somehow he uh, he rebirthed himself into another scissor man or whatever maybe he's not all big anymore but, but yeah he came back for revenge and that's what this game was pretty much all about and uh and it was like revealed at the very end that he's damned but yeah just to clear that up for you guys if you didn't know but anyway um i always give a, my let's play a rating um so i guess i'll do that right now for this game um first i want to start with the pros of this game um the thing i really liked right the thing i really liked the most about this game was um was the voice acting, and uh, even though you didn't get a lot of it, uh, it still gave the game a little, a little bit more life than the last game had. And uh, another thing I really liked, uh, which I kind of really didn't like too, was uh, the exploration. Like, like in the intermissions, you can uh, you can explore the city or whatever, go to different different places, and, and talk talk to different people. It was, that was that was a pretty cool feature, but it was. Uh, Kind of annoying because you had to go to certain places to trigger certain events, and you know, that was kind of boring too. But, but that's that kind, of, that pro. But um, now let's talk about another thing I, I liked. Um, I like the repl the replayability with the endings. Like if you got a bad ending, you can play the game again and try to get a good ending. But um, I mean, it's, I mean, I don't know why you'd want to go play the game over again to get a, a, a worse ending. But, but I guess it's just for but, um, and also, the thing I, actually, I really didn't like one part about that. You know, one of my other videos that I messed up, uh, is that part in Liper with Helen. Um, I put the statue in the, I went to the wrong place, because I was supposed to go to the place where I sent the statue, but I didn't know that, and I got a, I got one of the bad endings, and it just ended the game for me, and I had to start over, but that was, that's another part, that's part of the like that, but, but you know, the replayability was good, you know had the multiple endings and it's and actually the thing I liked the most about this game was the you can play as two different characters two different main characters um Jennifer and Helen that was that was pretty cool uh, you couldn't do that you couldn't do that in the last game there's only Jennifer but but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do another let's play of this with Helen um because I'm not really interested I don't really care but, but I still think it's really cool that you can do that but I mean they're not really that it's not really much different than Jennifer Helen's uh Helen's play through the game isn't, um, it's not much different than that, but, uh, it's just the items are different, um, some of the items are put in different places, there's some new items, like you can get a pistol for the end, but whatever, that's not, I don't really care, but, uh, I still like it. Now let's talk about the cons. I really, I really didn't like, um, really didn't like the voice acting. <laughs> um, even though I said I liked the voice acting, I mean, it gives more life, but the acting is terrible. You know, like every voice acting game in that time, that era was not that good. But I really didn't like the actors. But, um, another thing I really hated, the thing I hated the most was being chased by Sydney. Uh, I mean, it was scary the first 10 times, but, you know, there's some times where, you know, where you're about to, you're about to do something really important, you finally got, like, an item for an important puzzle, and then he pops out of nowhere. It's like when I. Earlier in this video set, I, I said I was going to meet you guys at the fountain, and then when I got there off the screen, like, he popped out of the fountain. So I had to run all the way back to the other side of the mansion, this castle, and I had, had, I had to hide in the closet to get away from it. And then I had to run all the way back to the other side to the fountain, and then, yeah, I was able to finally do it. But, you know, that's annoying. It's a big setback to be chased by, you know. It's not even scary anymore, you know, after the first 10 times, but whatever. That was, that was really annoying. And, uh... Yeah, and 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I really liked and hated about the game. Um, now I guess I'll rate the game. Uh, I think I think I'll give it uh, 7.5 out of 10. Yep, I think that's a pretty fair rating for this game. And, you know, I, I really, I really have to say that I enjoyed it in the long run. It was, it was a fun game, but there was some annoying parts about it. And my, I'm glad my subscribers liked it. Thank you, guys, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and uh, I'm glad you guys liked the game. And now, yeah, see, I got ending A, and I only is only able to have four survivors. Sorry, I couldn't save Tim or Beth, um, or. Harris, he was a bad guy though, but I don't know what happened to Gots. I don't know if he survived or not, but I'm surprised Helen survived. She was just standing in that box like a ghost, but whatever. Um, I mean, it was a, I got a good ending, and that's all that mattered. But yeah, if you go back to the main menu, you can uh, go to the ending list right here, and you can watch the that ending again, that little CG ending scene. You can watch it again if you want, but I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, um. Yeah, you can you can go back and get other endings too, but um, I'm not gonna do that. But um, like I said earlier, I'm not going to play as Helen in another Let's Play. But sorry, just, I'm just not interested. But it's still a cool feature. But anyway, um, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it right here. Um, I just want to say I'm gonna miss playing as Jennifer. She was one of my favorites Let's Play characters, and and she will be greatly missed on my channel. But um, yeah, it was fun. Um, that's the last Clock Tower game. I'm gonna be, this is the last Clock Tower game I'm going to be playing on my channel. And uh, just just don't play Clock Tower 3. I mean, it has nothing to do with the first two games. It's a completely different game. Um, I play it if you want to play something different, but it's not clock. It's not like the point-and-click Clock Tower 1 and 2 games. But it's, and don't play Ghost Head. That's a spin-off game. There's no Scissor Man. I don't even think there's a Scissor Man in Clock Tower 3. But, but anyway, um, now I'm finally going to end it here. Um, so once again, I hope you guys... I'm glad you guys enjoyed, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, but anyway, um, I'll be back on Monday with a new Let's Play. Um, I'm playing a new main Let's Play. I'm um, going to be playing Dragon Warrior 3 on the Game Boy Color. And I'm going to have a new background for it for my channel, um, promoting the game. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time.